Hi, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to take a look at some of the advanced search features in the JSTOR database. So here I am already logged into the JSTOR database. I'm on their homepage. Underneath the search box there's a link to advanced search and this is where you'll find all of the advanced search features. So before I start entering search terms I'm going to go down to the bottom of the page here where it says narrow by and it has five different item types that I can select to search. It has articles, books, pamphlets, reviews, and miscellaneous. For literary criticism research like we're doing today, the most helpful sources are probably going to be articles and books. You can also select a date range here as well. I'm going to leave that blank for today. Now when we go down to the bottom of the page, we're able to select just to search journals that are within certain subject areas. So if I scroll down to L, language and literature is listed here. So I can check this box next to that and it's just going to search those 328 journals that fall within the category of language and literature. If I'm looking at a British author, I might go up and select British studies and you can take a look at the different subjects that are posted here and select the ones that you think are relevant to the book and author that you are searching. Now I'm going to go up to the top to do my search. So for today's example I'm going to use Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. And over here on the right, it defaults to a full text search, meaning that it's going to search every word of every article in here. Now, that might be the type of search that we end up doing. I would not recommend starting, uh, starting off with a full text search, though. What I would recommend starting with instead is an item title search. So I'm going to select that. And what that will do is it will search for sense and sensibility in the title of any article that I'm searching. Now on the second line, I'm going to go down and change where it says and to or, and I'm going to type the author's name in, and that's Jane Austen. And I'm going to select item title here as well. Now you'll see abstract is also an option here, so you might ask the question, well, why wouldn't we do an abstract search here? Because in the abstract, if that's a summary of the article, they must be talking about the author and the book in the abstract. Uh, the reason why I don't recommend starting with an abstract search is because only a fraction of the articles in JSTOR include an abstract. So if you do an abstract search, you're only searching a fraction of the articles that are available. So that's why I recommend doing an item title search instead to get started uh, because chances are there's a good probability that either the title of your book or the name of your author is going to be in the title of the article. If you do this search, and you're struggling to find information, struggling to find more information, definitely go back and try a full text search or try an abstract search and see if that helps you find additional information. So at this point, I'm going to do my search. And here I found 189 articles. Now, let's say I want to be more specific. Let's say I want to take a look at dance and sense and sensibility. Well, I can take the results that I already have and narrow them even further by taking out my search string here and deleting it and then typing in dance and then I can check this box underneath the search box that says search within these results and click on search again and it's going to take the 189 results that I already have and it's now narrowed it down to 86 results. So that's a brief introduction to the advanced search features in JSTOR Thank you for joining me today. Please ask one of your librarians for help if you have any questions.